Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on the sitemap. So the sitemap contains all of our menu items. So when you look through Acumatica and you click on these different work areas, you can see all the different menu items and notice they're categorized. So for example, tasks, approvals, and events fall under this task area, but they also fall under time and expenses. In the past, Acumatica sitemap was tree-based and that worked well for the older style menuing structure that Acumatica used to have. So let's take a look at the sitemap so you get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So we'll open it up and you can see it's a full listing of all the different menu items in Acumatica. Now at this point we can add a new record, a new menu item, and the screen ID is a unique ID for this menu item. The title is here, of course. The URL points us to the page that we want to get to. And then Acumatica has different graph types. And these graph types are the part of code that runs when you arrive at this page. And what's new over the last couple of versions of Acumatica is the ability to define what workspace and what category it falls under. So now that Acumatica gives you the capabilities to define the workspace and the category, they've extended it to other areas of Acumatica, giving you the ability to take newly created items and place them throughout the menu structure. So for example, if take a look at our generic inquiry. Let's say we're creating a generic inquiry to give us a listing of invoices. So we'll type invoices. Of course, we have one already, but we'll select this make visible in the user interface and notice now we get the opportunity to put whatever title we want in there and now we could define what workspace we want it to be in so data views you can see is up here but if I select my workspaces you'll notice these workspaces coincide with the workspaces across here and of course in Acumatica, if you go to Edit Menu, you can create any number of workspaces that you'd like. So for us, let's put this into the receivables. And under receivables, if we click on our work area, you'll notice the different categories already defined in our receivables work area. So transactions, profiles, inquiries, and whatnot. So for this, we want to make it part of the inquiries. The other thing to notice about these work area menus is that even though my work area is up right now, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner I can close this. It's one of the areas that most people forget that you can close this without having to refresh and go back into another window. You can close it with the X of course, but you can also just click off to the side if your screen permits that space. Remember that Acumatica we could zoom in and out and by zooming in and out we may have limited space against this right panel. So now of course as a generic inquiry I would add my tables, I would put my filter in there, invoices last 12 months, but I'm going to just save this and now when I go to receivables under inquiries you'll notice I have invoices last 12 months. So that's one example of where you can place things into the site map. The other example is financial reports. So if we go to finance and we go to report definitions. Let's say for example we need a different variation of this profit and loss report. We can open it up, click on copy report, give it a new code, give it a different description. And under the sitemap, the same thing. So we can give it a different description. This will be the title inside our sitemap. And I really like the fact that it's under finance, but I can put it anywhere I need to. And under my category will also be financial statements because I'm making this visible in the user interface. So I'll save it. And now when I go to finance, you can see my profit and loss dash Greg. Now keep in mind this also permits you to configure it against the quick menu. So I can turn it off if I don't want it part of the quick menu or turn it back on again. 
I can edit my menu and move it around. So I could still move it around to different categories and different work areas if I need to. So all of that's supported. Another new example is our import scenarios. This is new to 2020 R1. We take a look at our import scenario profiles or export scenarios for that matter. We open one up. Let's say we need an import scenario to import AR cash sales. And this is something maybe we do all the time. We want to be able to open it up, drag and drop a fresh file for the day and run the import. So to do that, first off, we would make this active. We would turn on make visible on the UI and then we'd find a home for it. So let's put this under receivables. Put it under receivables and we'll put it under transactions. Now we'll save it. And under receivables, you can now see import AR cash sales. So of course from this screen, I can drag and drop a fresh file. There's already one attached to this, but dragging and dropping a brand new file and then hitting import, or you can use the upload file version. Either way, you can then run your import and get your daily transactions imported into the system. All from the convenience of our receivables transaction screen. So that's getting around the sitemap and configuring it and using some of the other areas in Acumatica to put your menu items where you want them for convenience and for accessibility to your users. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.